Namibia is one of the countries that is vulnerable to climate change due to its arid environment and low variability in rainfall. Professor Justine stressed that this will have a serious impact on water if nothing is done to manage and secure water. The country could face extreme water shortages accompanied by droughts in the future. We need to develop more efficient water use systems, water saving technologies and more crop per drop approaches. And to develop and implement these innovations, we need stronger water sector institutions, research and human capacities. Namibia's rainfall water is estimated to contribute only 2% to surface water, 1% to groundwater aquifers, and the rest mostly evaporates. The Vice Chancellor of the Namibian University of Science and Technology, Professor Chama Chivikwa, said that the current climate models have projected the situation to worsen in the future due to climate change. Professor Chivikwa added that Namibia is not fully prepared for these challenges. The magnitudes of water research and testing are in, the, in most cases inhibited by the absence of a dedicated water research funding body. This, cons this constraint is leading to fewer and less water uh, solutions being discovered for the benefit of the water service providers and ultimately the citizens of Namibia, particularly in the rural areas and remote areas away from urban centers. The Minister of Higher Education, Training and Innovation, Dr. Itakanji Murangi, explained that the board will position Namibia to serve as a leader in water climate interaction and research to sustainable water expansion programs for dry environments. Therefore, the establishment of the UNESCO Chair of Sustainable Water Research for Climate Adaptation in Arid Environments should provide meaningful research on how the government institutions and communities can sustainably manage water and ensure easier access to, to clean water and sanitation. The first ever Namibian UNESCO Chair in Sustainable Water Research for Climate Adaption in Arid Environments will bring together water research and climate scientists together to address water scarcity and sustainable development programs in dry environments. Julana Fuka, NBC News. Bento.